Hello everyone. Ever wondered what is Inlink or what does it really have a significance in the fields of the SEO? I am pretty much sure that everyone might have heard about internal linking or external linking as seen on my previous videos. But the thing is, what exactly is Inlink and what is the purpose behind that for a particular SEO cause? So today in this episode, we will be discussing more about Inlinks on what is Inlink, what is the real reason behind doing an inlinking for a particular website and how one can really achieve that and i will be personally providing a practical example on today's video so welcome in today's channel where the main topic of the discussion would be inlink and its effect on the entire seo journey so now let us understand first what actually is an inlink so basically as the name suggests inlink is nothing but just a internal link from the same page of your website to a different page in short suppose you have a landing page example.com slash page a and suppose you have a different landing page on your same website like example.com slash page b so if you acquire a internal linking from page b to page a with the help of an anchor text that is what an in link means so in link is just a hyperlink between the same website or the same pages where a uh, internal link is derived from the same particular page itself from the other pages so this is the main concept of in link now let us understand how one can actually find an in link or can perform an in linking operation as you can see from the screen before going further on understanding how to perform an in linking operation you need to have Screaming Frog ready. You can use the free license which can provide you results up to 500 pages or you can buy a premium license that would cost you 250 US dollars for a year. So once you open your Screaming Frog, you can enter your respective URL. For our case, we, we are using our homepage that is datware.co. After that, once you scrape or once you start crawling the entire website, you would find a lot of results as shown in the screen so you need to identify all the internal links from the internal linking tab as shown in the screen so once you scan or once you finish a crawling of a particular website then from the internal tab you can find all of the internal links that is ex into the existent into your particular website and from there you can use the filter option and you can choose hyperlink and if you use this particular option and if you go below you would find another tab known as in link now after doing this you would be getting all of the possible in linking solution which can be made possible for your particular campaign and last but not the least you can also export the files and based on this you can feel free to discuss with your content writers or your copywriters based on proper relevance you can put the in links between your pages but just some key takeaways are that you just need to make sure that the relevancy should be maintained and also if there are some irrelevant results like some images or some javascripts then those can be avoided now let us understand what actually is the benefits of performing an in linking so in linking normally have three benefits the first one is in link helps to maintain a proper link equity on your campaign. The second thing is in link make sure that your entire crawlability enhances for any given website. And the third most important thing is that your entire link juice or your diversification can flow and Google crawlers can crawl without having any rendering issues. So these three are the main benefits for performing an in linking operation for any particular campaign. Lastly, four key takeaways from this episode is that first one, in link is an operation which is vice versa model of an internal linking operation but the only thing is that you need to identify from which other pages you can have a relevant internal linking from a different page of your same website the second thing is during the in linking procedure you need to maintain a proper relevance do not link to any irrelevant pages if you ever find so third thing is you can take the help of Screaming Frog Spider that can make your job quite easier or there is a lot of other tools also like Ahrefs SEMrush but Screaming Frog is one of the best choice. And last but not the least, InLink is always a better 
strategy if you want to rank any of your money pages or any of your ym oil pages like your money your life because the more the inlink a particular landing page contains the better that page would be having a chance for ranking into the web page thank you everyone hope to see you again on the next video